perhaps this uh, this will be just a very short uh, introduction. Uh, in a way, the new book, uh, Change the Story, Change the Future, A Living Economy for a Living Earth, uh, sets the frame for, for the session. Um, it will also be the frame for the spring 2014 issue of Yes! Magazine, and uh, uh, we'll bring on Dean Patton, our executive editor, for just a couple of minutes later to uh, say something about that issue. Uh, the, the book, um, Change the Story, Change the Future, was inspired by my participation in a gathering of indigenous environmental leaders uh, in the preparation for the Real Plus 20 conference on development and the environment. Um, they were preparing at the time to counter the argument of essentially the Wall Street interests that to save nature we must put a price on her. Their position was clear and unequivocal. Earth is our sacred mother. She's the source of our birth and our nurture. We have no existence without her. We belong to her. She does not belong to us. Maintaining her health and integrity is our sacred responsibility beyond all others. As I reflected on that, I came to realize the deep significance of, of what they were saying. Um, that the challenge of our time is to learn to live as a species with living Earth, recognizing Earth as a living organism, a living community of life that does what all living organisms do. It self-organizes as a community to create and maintain the conditions essential to life. In Earth's instance, that means including human life. Now, I'm sensing that as a species, we're in the midst of a global cultural awakening to the traditional indigenous understanding. And it is the unspoken message of what science is revealing about the processes by which Earth came alive. So we meld the, the science with indigenous wisdom and, and the insights of various spiritual traditions. And we begin to take on a, a very different frame of, our, of Earth and our relationship to Earth. Um, when we look at the, the key is the process by which Earth came alive, it began with the simplest of microscopic single cell organisms, which worked with the forces of Earth's geological processes to transform every aspect of Earth's crust, waters, and atmosphere to create and maintain conditions distinctive to planet Earth and essential to the emergence of more complex life forms like humans. Uh, I mean, this is the extraordinary miracle that begins to reshape our understanding. These organisms transform and stabilize the chemical composition of planet Earth's atmosphere, lowered the planet's temperature, and concentrated and sequestered a vast variety of chemical compounds, including toxins and excess carbons, deep underground. They created weather systems that provide the planet's landmass with continuously renewing supplies of fresh water and oxygen-rich air. This extraordinary living system now struggles to maintain the conditions essential to our existence despite abuse from an economy that aggressively extracts and releases sequestered carbons and toxins back into Earth's atmospheres, waters, and soils to actually to suppress the natural processes by which living Earth maintains the conditions essential to our existence. So it raises the question, are we truly an intelligent species? Uh, fortunately, we're beginning to awaken and perhaps we will prove that we are in fact an intelligent species. It requires that we now learn to live as contributing members of Living Earth's community of life. Now, now this is, we have to get feedback someplace. Um, we can still hear you fine, David. Yeah, okay, okay. fine. So this, this New Economy Transition session uh, is intended to be a bold visioning exercise and the possibilities uh, stimulated by the work and thinking of our three most important visionaries. So instead of starting with what's our path to a sustainable future, we start with the, the grand bold vision of what that, vision, what that future might look like. And uh, as John will introduce, our, our 
three guest panelists uh, this morning are at the very leading edge of, of that rethinking. 